Hello everyone and welcome back to Lounging with Lenny. My name is Lenny and I would like to ask you a question. Who doesn't like Penela Vodka? I personally think that kids and adults, they love it. So today I will prep it step by step. Enjoy this beautiful video and stay tuned. Penela Vodka is one of the best penne pasta recipes ever. It is penne pasta tossed in a rich and delicious tomato vodka cream sauce. You will need one medium or three fourths of a large onion. Dice it into medium size. Please subscribe to my channel, press the bell, press notify me to get notified about my new videos. Preheat the pot to medium heat, pour some olive oil and 1 tablespoon of butter. And add your diced onion. Sweat it for a couple minutes and add for close of minced garlic. Today I'm using garlic press for it and it works perfect for me. Increase the heat to medium high heat and sweat your garlic and onion for about 3 to 4 minutes. You don't need to reach golden color. Add 3 fourths of a cup of vodka, but be very careful. If you have open fire, remove your pot from it, add vodka, wait for about 1 minute and put it back on fire. Reduce 75% of it. Make sure to reduce 75% of it so the alcohol will burn off. Add your diced tomatoes. Season with salt. Black pepper. And add 1 tablespoon of sugar. Sugar will help to balance the acidity. Mix it. And let it simmer for 20 minutes. In the meantime, let's cook my pasta. Bring the water to boil. Add some vegetable oil. Put your penne pasta in and cook it for 5 minutes. You want your penne pasta to be al dente. Drain the pasta. Make sure not to run it under cold water. Pour some olive oil so pasta doesn't stick to each other. And put it aside. Let's get back to the sauce. I like my vodka sauce to have creamy texture, but you can either leave it chunky like this or puree it to desired consistency. Add half a teaspoon of chili flakes and one cup of heavy cream. Mix it. Cook it on a low heat for 5 to 4 minutes. Add 1 cup of grated parmesan cheese. Add your pasta. Mix it all together. You can decorate it with the fresh basil and some extra Parmigiano Reggiano on top. Enjoy this beautiful pasta dish. 